Hello, it's the time for another Monday Good to Know video tip, and so let's do it. I have a saying that I say every morning, I'm going to start my day strong, and I'm going to stay strong all day, and then I will end my day strong so that I can set the table for tomorrow so that it too will be a successful day. Today I'm grateful for the principle that says the words we attach to our experience become our experience. Let me explain. We have to be really careful to consciously choose the words we use to describe our emotional states and what we're thinking and feeling at any given moment, or we will suffer the penalty of creating greater pain for ourselves than is truly warranted or appropriate for that experience. In fact, if we're not careful, we will actually attract negative results into the portal of our mind and end up manifesting them into our world of the physical. If we're not careful to choose what we think and speak, what we really want to have happen, not only in our businesses, but in our personal lives too, we will find ourselves experiencing exactly what we don't want to have happen and end up where we really don't want to end up. I call this the law of the CTFAR model. That CTFAR model. The law of the CTFAR model simply says that we must be consistent in choosing right thinking so that we take the right actions that will bring about the right results that we really desire. For those watching this Good to Know Monday tips and don't know what the CTFAR model is, let me show it to you right now. Let you take a look at that for a moment. You can come back and pause this and write it down. As you can see here, C stands for circumstance. You can see a dotted line underneath the circumstance line, and it says you cannot control your circumstances, be it a spouse, a friend, being fired, someone saying no to you, or whatever the circumstance is, we cannot control them. But we can control our thoughts about it, which is what the T stands for. And our thoughts are what makes us feel the feelings that we feel and experience the emotions we have. Our feelings and our emotions, the F in this model, are what makes us do what we do, which is our action line, the A in this model. It's so exciting. And the R in the model is our results line which comes from the actions we take as a result of the actions we took. And too often, the results are usually a reflection or a mirror of our original thoughts. If they were negative, then in the time through the process, the results are usually negative too. These principles lead to the next thing I'm grateful for, which is the law of emotions, which simply says we are the source of all our emotions. We are the one who creates them through the thoughts we choose to think or that we habitually allow to come forth ungoverned as part of our old story in the form of our thoughts and then the words we form to describe those thoughts. The bottom line here is the fact that it is not our circumstance or circumstances that is the cause of our feelings. It is our thoughts and old story and the rules we have set deep in our minds, our memory, that is the result that's causing those feelings. This leads me to say that far too many people think that they have to wait for certain experiences in order to feel emotions that they desire. For example, they don't give themselves permission to feel loved or happy or what we call confident unless and until a particular set of circumstances or expectations are met. Well, I'm here to tell you that you and I can feel any way we choose to feel at any given moment in time. We don't need any reason to feel good. We can just decide to feel good right now simply because we're alive and breathing and simply because we want to feel good, period. Since we, our thoughts, are the source of all our emotions, why don't we feel good at all the time then, you ask? Coach B, why not? It's because our so-called negative emotions, our old mapping is giving us instructions to feel otherwise. It's the habitual negative thought patterns, our mental mapping, that springs into action as soon as a single idea about a circumstance starts to form in our conscious mind. If there are past experiential thoughts that have we've had before and that were laid down like a pathway, if they relate to the subject, our subconscious mind and our vibrational mind go in immediate search for those support materials to match up to that initial idea that came into our head. The way to fix this is to change our thoughts and map a new emotional experience that overrides the negative ones, the old story. It is our choice. That's a truth. Lastly, I'm grateful for Ralph Waldo Emerson who said, the mass of men leads lives of quiet desperation. 
In other words, the only difference between a rut and a grave is a few feet, and far too many people are living their lives in that rut. If there's one thing I have come to believe over my 66 years of life, and in particular my 44 years of doing all I could to provide a living for myself and my family, is the fact that there are far too many people who have allowed themselves to get into a rut, and they don't seem to know how to get themselves out of it. Falling into a rut, more often than not, is the result of one's desire to avoid pain. I've also witnessed people who have the hunger with, with um, which they seize upon an opportunity to feel more alive, more passionate, and more electric, and they acted on those desires. They made the decision to get out of the rut, no matter what. They controlled their thoughts so that they were able to see getting out of the rut as a pleasurable experience. They didn't see it as something that's going to bring them pain because they had to do some work to get themselves out of the rut. That said, I'm so happy that you're watching this Good to Know Monday video tip today. It tells me that you are considering or maybe you've even already decided to start a business of your own and therefore are on your way out of your rut. I'm excited for you and I want to do all I can to help you achieve that goal. That's for sure. Congratulations. Okay, I think it's a good place to stop. I'll be back here next Monday with a new tip, but until then, I wish you continued success.